How to Animate Wojak's Eyes. Go to Google and type in Download Wojak. Select the option to show only images and choose the image that you like best from the results. Open your favorite image editor, or if you don't have one, use the free online Photoshop clone at photop.com. Adjust the width and height of the project to match the dimensions of the image, or if you don't know the exact size of the image, you can resize it later on after the import. Create the new project and then simply drag the selected Wojak image onto the new PhotoP page. If you turn off the background, you can see that this Wojak image is completely transparent and only has the black outlines. So, we have to fill in the parts behind him. Select the brush tool and start drawing, but make sure that the Wojak layer is selected. If the program asks for it, rasterize the layer. Complete the image so that his shoulders reach all the way to the edge of the screen. You can adjust the size of the brush at the top left to match the original size of the black outlines. If you delete the background layer, you should get something like this. I will create a new background layer so you can better see what I'm doing, but you can skip this step if you want. Select the red color and the paint bucket tool on the left and click anywhere on the background layer, which makes it completely red. Select the Wojak layer, then the color to be white, then click on his face. As you can see, the part inside the black lines has been filled with white. However, the eyes, and if I zoom in a bit, you can see that the red background is still visible next to the black lines. So, select the brush, create a new layer, make sure it is between the red background and the Wojak head layers. Simply go along the lines and paint the transparent parts along the line with white, like this. I'll speed it up a bit so I don't waste your time. For the inner parts, where you don't have to be so precise, you can use a bigger brush to finish faster. When you're done with it, select the Wojak and the white layer, then right-click and select the Merge Layers option. This is like the compound clip function in CapCut. If you turn off the background, you should get something like this. Save this image as a PNG without the background. Zoom in a bit on the eyes and select the Lasso tool. Select the inner part of the eye, like this, and press delete to delete it. Or if you find it too difficult to select it manually, then choose the magic wand tool, under the lasso, and click on the white part. This will select all the whites quite well, then press the delete button. Unfortunately, for the black part, you have to use the lasso again, and delete the selected part. If you are not satisfied, use the eraser tool. It works exactly like the brush tool, only it doesn't draw, it erases. You can use this to refine the deleted parts. Don't forget to erase the other eye as well. If you're comfortable with it, you can use only the eraser tool to do this. If you accidentally moved the picture, like I did here, then drag it back to the center. When you're done, hide the background layer. You should get something like this. Save it again as a PNG image without background. Okay, that's enough with the image editing, let's start animating the eyes. Start CapCut and start a new project. Import the original and the eyeless Wojak images, then the black and white backgrounds. Drag the white background onto the main layer, then the eyeless Wojak image onto a new layer above it. For you to see better, I will change the white background to yellow. Drag the white background onto a new layer and place it between the yellow and Wojak layers. Resize it so that it doesn't show behind Wojak's head, but covers the part behind the eyes. If it is too difficult to cover the transparent parts without the white layer sticking out, use several smaller white layers. Drag the black background onto a new layer between the white and Wojak layers, then select the circle option in the mask tab. These will be the eyeballs. Scale it down and place this behind one of the eye, then duplicate this layer and drag it behind the other eye. Change the scale and position until you are satisfied with the result. A quick tip. Since one eye is a little further away, you will achieve a better result if you make it a little smaller compared to the other. Okay, we are done with all the preparations. We only need to place keyframes at the starting point, then move them a few frames further back and place new keyframes. And that's it. If you did everything with me, you should have something like this. 
and with a little creativity, you can make as many facial expressions as you want, such as blinking or winking, maybe a smile, or just a scared expression. I hope this quick video helped you, and if you want to know more about Wojak Animations, check out these other videos.